Hi, my name is Stefan from Bugs Music, and today I have brought with me the Prism Sound Lyra 2 audio interface. The audio quality in your studio is only as good as the weakest link. Whether you're recording or listening, the AD or DA converter is one of those links. For decades now, Prism Sound converters have been considered to be among the absolute best converters available. A Lyra audio interface will give you true Prism Sound converters, but in a compact two-channel package. Perfect if you're looking for quality rather than quantity. First of all, a quick tour of the Lyra 2. On the back, we find two analog inputs. Both of them accept line, instrument, and microphone levels. Next to the inputs are the four analog outputs. The Lyra 2 also has a plethora of digital connections. ADET I.O. gives you up to eight extra in and outputs, and the SPDIF I.O. gives you another two ins and outs. Thanks to the word clock connections, your external converters will also benefit from the superb prism sound clocking. Something that also got my attention is the fact that the Lyra 2 has an internal power supply. So no flimsy barrel plug with a bulky power adapter, but a sturdy IEC C14 power socket. The specifications are of course impeccable. 192 kilohertz at 24-bit resolution and a dynamic range of 116 dBs. But those are just numbers. And to be honest, they're not that different from cheaper audio interfaces. What makes Lyra audio interfaces really stand out is difficult to express in numbers. You'll have to just hear it. The signal path is based on the famous Orpheus interface. Just like with the Orpheus, the inputs on the Lyra interfaces have been fitted with an overkiller circuit. This is a very clever name because killing overs is exactly what this soft clip limiter does. Those of you who started their careers on analog tape will feel right at home with the Lyra 2. Thanks to the overkiller circuit, you can safely push your signal into the red. The overkiller circuit will round off the transients and you'll get some nice saturation in return. This is something you'll try only once with a cheap audio interface and then never again. The front panel of the Lyra 2 gives you access to all of the basic settings using the big dial. Pushing it will toggle through the ins and outs and turning it will set the according level. The small dial next to it lets you set the headphone level. Next to the dials, we find a couple of very informative meters and some LEDs that tell us at which sample rate the unit is currently operating. If you want to take a deeper dive in these settings and gain access to the extensive routing capabilities, you can do so by installing the Lyra software. At the top of the panel, we find all the global settings like sample rate and meter behavior, and you can also save your own settings. Below the global controls, we find a number of tabs, one for the inputs and one for the outputs. Every set of outputs also has its own mixer page, where you can make an independent mix for that output. The Prism Sound Lyra 2 audio interface is an excellent choice for up and coming producers, mixing engineers, and mastering engineers who wish to enter the realm of uncompromised audio. Or maybe you're an audio professional with decades of experience, and you're looking for a smaller setup for your B studio without sacrificing sound quality. The Lyra 2 will not disappoint. If you'd like to learn more about the Prism Sound Lyra 2, please click the link in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.